All right, guys, how's it going? Don't ask me. I have had uh, a horrendous week, to be honest with you, uh, which is why I haven't been around making videos. I did make, um, I'll record, should I say, a Cop Talk podcast episode this week. And a Dunk Knows Best episode as well. Uh, but it's just been uh, a really shit week. And uh, to make things worse, my mum's cat's gone missing this morning. Obviously, my mum died in 2012. Uh, you know, and the cat became my responsibility, which, you know, is nice, really, because it's like, you know, it reminds me of my mum, like a connection to my mum. Um, but she wasn't there this morning. She she lives outside. Obviously, we're in Spain, so it's nice here, you know. Uh, and she never leaves the, the property. You know, the property's got walls all the way around it, so she can't, well, she can get out, but she never has done in 16, 17 years or something. And she's not there today, and I've gone over all my CCTV, front of the house, back of the house, ring doorbell, it's like Fort Knox here, trust me. And uh, there's nothing, no sign of her, so. She's a very old, very weak uh, cat. So she won't survive out and about, out on the streets. So. Sometimes though, when they've had enough, <laughs> which is how I feel right now, uh, cats, they take themselves away, don't they, to go to sleep. This is why I haven't made any videos for you this week, because that's how, you know, like, I don't want to bring you guys down as well. But... I have got some meatballs next to me in the slow cooker here. It's Friday, which means I'll get to see the boys later, Steve and Gary, uh, for a few drinks, but I wasn't sure whether that'd be a good idea today, really. Or the stream tomorrow night. Um, but we are doing a stream. We will be live on here tomorrow night, 7.30pm UK time, and I promise you, uh, I'll be in good spirits. We'll be all right. February was horrendous as well. Everything's just going wrong at the minute. Everything. And the thing is, I speak about this in, in many of my videos, that when it comes to football, it's supposed to be a release from all the, you know, the miserable things in your life. And then when football is miserable as well, because of the ownership situation and the, um, the topics surrounding that and the fans falling out and... When you become disheartened, uh, combine that with the shit stuff that's going on in your life, and it's just like, just can't, honestly, it's just terrible. Everything. So, you know, we have, obviously we had that great win on Sunday, uh, which was amazing, but then everything else is just back to, you know, John Henry came out, didn't he? Now, you can talk about that playing. Say it's embarrassing, good idea, bad idea. I take me out off to those that are involved. The lad that organised it's commented on one of my videos on here recently. Uh, I'm for it and against it, really. I mean, like, I'm against... Oh, the only When I say against it, I'm against, like, the need for it. But, some, you know, like, what I mean is you shouldn't have to do it. That's what I mean. Um, and I notice, you know couple of the, the click, the Liverpool journalists, you know, put people down about it, immediately said it was a minority, I don't know where they get the figures from, like, um, you know, and I saw some of the comments online, people saying, well, it's, yeah, it's all very good, but we don't see any FSG out banners in the stadium, well, from what I understand, I don't think you're allowed to, are you? they haven't took down, don't they? Uh, but nevertheless, uh, I still set my hat off to... Um, those involved, they want to express their opinion. It's not my business. Um, just means they care, doesn't it? Whether you agree with it or not, it means they care. And you can't really say that they're wrong. Enough is enough. I mean, sometimes people say, be careful what you wish for. It could be worse, stuff like that. Well, we'd still have, you know, Brendan Rodgers as manager then, wouldn't we? You know, if, you, if you're never going to set that gamble in life, um, but anyway, it flushed John Henry out. You could say that John Henry uh, capitalised on the 7-0 uh, 
uh, you know, victory, you know, come out and because it, when he came out and made his interview, exclusive interview, it was billed as with the Liverpool Echo. Uh, you know, it, it wasn't very exciting and very upbeat what he had to say, so that was a good time to do it, really. So whether it's a plane, whether it's a 7-0 victory or a combination of both, he's calculated, he knows what he's doing. I don't even know if I've spoke about this. I think I might have done on the podcast. Uh, and the podcast I think I uploaded on here, so it'll be the last video. It's only audio, which is probably a good thing, because I've got a face for radio, obviously. Um, but what I will say is this, that that wasn't an interview. You could tell it was scripted, in my well, in my opinion. Uh, it wasn't an interview. It, it read like there'd been an email and he was responding. That's how it read to me, which is like the interview that he did with the Boston publication the other week. Um, but I, I read it, you know, I read his comments and I was just like, oh, do you know what I mean? And the journalist that did the, the interview, I forget his name now, if Sean was watching, look in the comments, he'll tell you. I just remember thinking that, that it was just one of those, like, the journalists, they don't give them a hard time, they don't ask any, do you know what I mean? Anyway, I'm not going over it all, we've done it all a million times. I'm sick of hearing about it. Point is, the people that put down the, the efforts of the fans that organised that plane, I think, you know, I've seen some of them say, you look very silly now, we should have a 7-0 win, as if like that 90 minutes changes everything to do with the ownership. It's very strange way to look at things fly the plane every fucking game then uh, if it's gonna if they're gonna turn out like that but the point is uh, you know I've seen people say oh, you look a bit silly now Liverpool have won 7-0 no not at all it the flushed John Henry out that's what I say that's what I think has happened there like now's a good time to speak to the echo you know um, but it wasn't very promising was it guys I just use uh, the F word on here. You won't have noticed this probably, but YouTube announced two, three days ago that they got it wrong with the um, the way videos are uh, limited for using profanity. You know, I was telling you, I've been going through a nightmare for weeks, 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 and if not a couple of months, but well, I think it was since November, maybe, I don't know. Uh, my videos were getting limited by YouTube for having extreme profanity throughout the majority of the videos which is not true uh, anyway they've uh, they've changed the rules so we'll see so as long as you don't say the f word in the opening seven seconds 15 seconds and you don't use it all the time like the majority of your video we should be all right so fuck you john henry anyway uh <clears throat> When I got up this morning, I felt all right, and then my mum's cat's gone, I mean, for fuck's sake, I mean, like, why today? I mean, this week, just can't, get, well, it can get worse, of course it can. I never feel sorry for myself, guys, honestly, never. Um, I read someone's tweet today that said, you know, when people say, like, never sell, you know, don't sell out and all that, and I read this really funny tweet by someone saying, fuck it, I'm selling out. My, you know, I'm at the point now where my soul's for sale. <laughs> and I could relate to that. I was like, yeah, that's it. You know, like, instead of being all like, you know, uh, I'm just here, you know, to interact with my fellow fans and that, I should just turn around and say, yeah, fuck it, I want to make as much money as possible. That's how I feel today. <sighs> Can you tell I'm in a good mood? I'm, do you know what? I was in. I was all right when I woke up this morning. I didn't sleep like. I didn't sleep. I don't like being like this. You can tell when I'm like this because me. I start to grow stubble. I, I usually have a bit of stubble, but it gets too bad. But I'm going to shave that off before I go to the bar. This isn't how you're supposed to make videos on YouTube. You're supposed to be all happy, clappy, and. What's up? And all that, you know. But I am just me. I just should be real. Simple as that. People don't like it. They'll fuck themselves. 
Because I know the people that enjoy my content, the people that support me, the people that subscribe to my YouTube channel, the people that buy me a drink on a Saturday night stream, the people that comment my videos, that give a thumbs up, that take the time to email me and message me. I know them people are all right with me. And they know that next week I'll be all right again. I mean, if cat's gone, it's fucking gone, isn't it? I can't do anything about it. Uh, the only thing, you know, the only... The only thing I'd like to think is that it's decided to take itself away into the woods somewhere to, to go to sleep forever, forever like, you know what I mean? My mate Steve that I'm seeing today, I think he'll say that, because his, his cat disappeared ages ago. I think he found it dead in woods. I mean, <laughs> maybe... A fox grabbed it and took it and he wants yeah, that's what he wants to think. There'd be nothing like that would be around here, so like I say, this place is like Fort Knox, so for someone to get the cat or something to get the cat they'd have to have a set of ladders really to climb over. <sighs> fucking cat. I don't even like fucking cats. But it's last connection to my mum. And she'd be upset today, so And like I say, on on top of that, terrible week. Terrible week. Uh, revenue from February was terrible, as you as it always is every February. So now you're in that recovery process. And I got stung on an advertising job. Someone took a, uh, an advertising thing out with me. Three, three representing three companies that claimed one thousand four hundred pounds. We never get advertising jobs like that. So you can imagine, I was like, oh my god, it's February. That's going to see us through Feb. And um, they didn't pay. And then I contacted the three companies they claimed to represent and they went, we don't know anything about it. Is someone trying to harm our business? And one of those companies said it wasn't someone by the name of, was it? I went, yeah. So I kind of budgeted for that, you know what I mean? Uh, didn't expect it. Don't normally get anything like that. You never get advertising like that, guys, these days. Never. But um, too good to be true, I guess. Uh, so yeah, we're in that 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 zone now where you know, sort of hopefully things will pick up. I've got to ride out the next two weeks, and uh, Google my Google money comes in two weeks. So and it'd be nice if we can just have a nice summer, you know. Um, it's not about money being on here. I've been here for twenty five years, and I've rejected huge amounts of money over the years to get rid of that stupid fucking website but I never took it today I would <laughs> uh, now for me it's about survival and um, getting by and just just a week of you know, shit happening in my life money fucking cats FS fucking G. Just, just a bit too much this week, like, you know what I mean? And to make matters worse, can you see there behind me that there, look, Remy found the kitchen roll and decided to destroy it. <laughs> it's lucky he's still walking, that little fucker. So, anyway. Can't go out about the, the cat, that is for sure, or anything else, to be honest. Uh, but I do appreciate those of you that support me. Uh, I've just kind of, like, been... I've just not been able to work this week. and uh, But I can't be like that forever. So I'm going to go out and see the boys today. I'm going to have a few sherbets. And I do hope that you guys will join me on here tomorrow night uh, for a little knees up, 7.30 UK onwards. I need it. You know what I mean? I need it. I was speaking to Sean and Dale about it, you know, two lads that participate in all the streams. Oi, you've done enough damage. Get out of the bin. And um, they offered me some words of encouragement yesterday. So we're doing it. We'll, we'll stream tomorrow. Right? But I don't want no conversations about these owners for too long, to be honest with you. Let's have conversations about the football early doors. And then let's get smashed off our tits. <laughs> and then next week Monday let's get back into it and do all the alright and all that no I'll be alright guys I'm just I'm a bit numb and I've been putting off speaking to you all week really and now you can see why and today it was already shite as it was but then 
I obviously made a podcast the other day and I felt alright to do with that. Yeah, just getting on with things like, and then my mum's fucking cat goes missing. Fuck's sake, man. It's called lucky and all. Not very fucking lucky, is it? <laughs> Maybe it's good it's fucking gone. Actually, I think in Spain a black cat is the opposite to what we, uh, you know, superstition. Don't think they like black cats here. It's probably dead, that's probably what, what's happened. Right, I'm sure I've cheered you up no end. Um, we'll, we'll regroup tomorrow night on here, 7.30 tomorrow night. All right, promise you I'll be in a good mood.